Hi, I'm Kate Bonner from the Watercolor Diaries on KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. Today, in the second installment of our two-part series, The Race for a Cure, we're joined in the studio by two brave women who are fighting the deadliest and most aggressive and rarest form of breast cancer, inflammatory breast cancer. According to the National Cancer Institute, inflammatory breast cancer, or IBC as it's known, accounts for between one and 5% of all breast cancer cases. I was stunned when I read this because IBC is rarely covered in the mainstream media, despite its devastating prognosis. When a specialist told Sunny Jacobs she had breast cancer in December 2005, she was shocked because just six months earlier, her regular mammogram hadn't shown anything unusual. Hence, the most important part of this story. Traditional screening processes, such as mammograms and ultrasounds, typically do not detect IBC because the disease presents without a distinct lump. Symptoms associated with inflammatory breast cancer are less obvious. They can include redness, swelling, and warmth in the breast, ridge skin, burning, itching, sometimes accompanied by swollen lymph nodes. And we have two guests joining us today in the studio. The first woman I wish to introduce, Sunny Jacobs. She lives here in Boca Raton, Florida. And she is joining us now. Since she was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer in December of 2005, she has made it her mission to promote awareness about this specific type of breast cancer. Sunny, thank you for joining. Well, it's my pleasure, and thank you so much for having me. Sunny, what can you tell us about inflammatory breast cancer? How has it impacted your life? Well, first of all, inflammatory breast cancer is a completely different kind of breast cancer. Uh, it does not have the same kind of symptoms that normal breast cancer has, if you want to call breast cancer normal. Um, it is quite different. Uh, we are told, women are told to look for lumps and get your mammograms, and that's excellent advice. Inflammatory breast cancer does not normally show up as a lump. It does not normally show up in mammograms. And yet it is the most aggressive and deadly of all the breast cancers. Women are dying because they are being misdiagnosed or subjected to delay diagnosis because not enough, even not enough doctors are familiar with it. Let me just summarize for a second. With inflammatory breast cancer, you can't diagnose yourself because there are no lumps and it also doesn't show up with a mammogram. So do they suggest an MRI? All right, well, let's put it this way. There are symptoms. The symptoms are different. Uh, I had classic symptoms, which uh, some of them are a redness of the breast, uh, a rash, a dimpling of the breast, which could look like the, the skin of an orange, um, uh, heat, uh, warmth, itching, a rash, all these different kinds of things that are really sight things rather than filling of a lump. Um, I had the redness, but I had blotchy skin. I had itching, so I figured it was an itch. I had a, a bit of a rash, so I put some talc on it. You know, we live in Florida. It's kind of hot and sticky here. Uh, had I known the symptoms, uh, I would have gone to a doctor sooner. What took me to the doctor is my arm swelled. I was on my way down. I was traveling and was on my way down to Florida. My arm swelled. By the time I got here, my hand was like a ball, and my, my arm was swollen. Five <clears throat> years ago, I began getting mammograms, and I think the prevailing knowledge out there for women, young women too, um, I'm, I'm 40, so um, look for lumps, do breast examinations. There isn't the information out there, look for a rash, the dimpling. Perhaps your breast looks like an orange, not the color, mm -hmm. but the, the texture of the skin. That type of information isn't out there. Sunny Jacobs is not alone. Claudia Fover, who also resides locally, she joined us last week to tell us her own experience with IBC after she discovered a discoloration of one of her breasts. Claudia was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer in August of this year. She joins us now. Thank you. You were just diagnosed. That was just around the corner. I know, but it seems like it's been years. It hasn't, but it seems like it has. How did you find out? I knew something was wrong. All I had was a slight discoloration on my breast, but I knew something was wrong. My daughter-in-law and I are very good at doing research online. We both went online. She's in Georgia. I'm down here. And we came up with the same thing. Well, you either have mastitis, but that's for usually for young nursing women. 
your grandmother. <laughs> your oldest granddaughter just got married. Let's look at the other options. Inflammatory breast cancer. Since Claudia was not nursing an infant, in fact, she tells me she's a grandmother at 65 years old, she had a feeling that the antibiotics wouldn't work. 10 days later, she was back in the doctor's office. With inflammatory breast cancer, your, your diagnosis starts at a stage three. There's so only there four is no stages. Zero. Yeah, yeah there's no zero like in a lot of the others. From zero up to four, we start with it. Luckily, I say luckily, the man upstairs is watching out for me because luckily the radiologist knew how to read the mammogram report and knew that the sheeting, like a nesting that he saw, was inflammatory breast cancer. And uh, from what I understand, you're at the beginning of your journey. I am. I'm still whole. I, I won't be after a while, but I have a marvelous husband that loves me anyway, just like I, I love him. He's losing his hair. I've lost mine. <laughs> but we love each other, and that's good support. Sonny and the whole IBC support group are the most marvelous bunch of people I've ever, I say met, right. but, you know, I mean, Sonny is the only one I've met so far. Like Sunny, Fover says she tells everyone she meets about IBC, so women can learn to protect themselves by expanding the list of symptoms to look for when they're examining their own breasts. For more information on inflammatory breast cancer, both Sunny and Claudia recommend a site www.ibcsupport.org. Thanks for joining today for our two-part series, The Race for a Cure. I'm Kate Bonner for the Watercolor Diaries on KBTV Online.